Okay, here's how you take a look at these layouts that I have with the PCF code using Harry's formula uh, and the indicator because it's a whole lot of gobbledygook lines. So uh, first of all, let's look at the column over here. When you look at the results of your uh, scans, I would typically always just sort by volume buzz. That's this one right here. And that is the relative volume that the stock is currently experiencing based on previous days at that same time. So if you're looking at the volume buzz score at like 2 p.m. and it's like plus 50%, you're seeing 50% more volume than you typically would see at 2 p.m. on that stock. That is very, very useful. And like I said, my results, I will always scan by volume buzz and typically I won't even touch anything that's not in the green and I like stuff that's over 20. So that's the number one there because you can't search by it, so you should sort by it. Then this column right here next beside it, this guy right here, that is the 12 period, so the, the five minute relative strength on it right there. And then the last one is the, the daily relative strength, the five period. So once in a while you might wanna sort, especially if there's slim pickings or you're doing a special search or something, you might wanna sort by that and it'll tell you like what's the strongest stock, but usually if you look at the strongest one, it's probably already done its move, right? Because remember, this is the 12 period, so this is the average of the last 12 candles. It might have already done its move if you're sorting and trying to find the strongest ones. But you can sort by the strongest dailies, and that can often give you some gems too. Most of the time though, I sort by volume buzz. Now, when you're reading this, whatever you call this thing, this divergence chart or whatever, here's what it is. The green line is the relative strength of the stock. And remember, that's 12 period rolling rate of change. Then the blue dotted line is SPY, and then the yellow dotted line is the sector. So for Roblox, the green dotted line is Roblox, the yellow dotted line is the tech sector, and the blue dotted line is SPY. So you don't need to know how much stronger it is. You can see right during this little period right here, but at the start, I know everybody was talking about Roblox out the gate. Look at that wild relative strength. That is some crazy strength. You can see tech is a little bit stronger than Roblox as well, but then you can see it's dipping down even while tech is staying strong and then it gets weaker as well. So this helps you see the interplay between the sector, the market, and the stock. And you can see kind of where it's been, where it's going, the general trends. And that helps you give a much more sophisticated view of relative strength versus just a straight up number. And I like seeing that a lot. And then when you look at these straight lines, you might be wondering what those are. Well, I figured I'd like to know generally how much stronger this stock has been in the past as well because stocks will lose and gain relative strength. So if I'm picking one that's had good strength uh, that day, that's even more of a benefit. So this green line is just the 39 period average of this score right through the year. So basically like how strong has it been in the last half day? So you can see it's got pretty great strength. Now obviously this thing, because of the market, got pulled all the way back, but this usually is a helpful one to see as well. So when I'm scanning stocks, I'll go through and I'll try to find ones that not only have relative strength on the dotted line, but also have like a good distance between this average and the market too. So not only is it stronger than SPY now, but it has been on average for the last half day because most of my trades last about like half a day. And you can see not a lot happening here, but there, take a look at this one right here. So this one's got good relative strength and it has had great relative strength in the past. Look at that juicy chart right through there. So typically if you see this type of pattern, good things will happen. And then of course over here, this is the daily. So same sort of idea. You want to have that action. Now, in a lot of market conditions, something called a sector stack is nice where the stock is stronger than the sector and the sector is stronger than the market. But you'll find in some situations that that doesn't really matter as much because there's just so much rotation going on, especially in choppy areas. Just because the sector is strong doesn't necessarily give you a boost. So you'll have to kind of get good with this. You'll have to use your own judgment. You'll have to really get good at kind of combining a whole bunch of like converging factors. Um, but the sector stack is a, a good idea too, especially on a trending day. So hopefully that kind of clears up how I'm using these charts and what I'm doing with them. And uh, you guys can get even better at trading.